Hey guys, what's going on? James here, Jimmy Screens, Mr. Chiller. Today's Wednesday, hump day. Week's almost over. I'm sure a lot of you are really happy that that's just about done. Uh, you're looking at 75 gallon reef tank, and I will elaborate on that in just a moment. But first off, I've got a lot of subscribers this week that I want to give some shout outs to. Really do appreciate all the new subscribers and all my subscribers in general. Really awesome guys, much appreciated. All right, without further ado, I've got Mr. Higlon, Dr. Kelly 27, Cyber Aquarist, Vins Reef, Marcus Hernandez, Jesus is real, or Jesus is real. <laughs> I'm sure the first one is correct. Sean Jones and Filipino Phase. All right, guys, that was eight new subscribers in the last couple of days. Really do appreciate it. And I subbed you guys all back. That's all good. Really awesome. Thank you very much. All right. Um, like I said, you're looking at the 75 gallon reef tank. And if you notice, the reef tank is actually getting a little bit better. I'm not going to say much, I'm not going to lie, because it's not exactly where I want it. But I can honestly say that it's actually getting a lot better. And I think it's got a lot to do with him. And the sea hare which he is so good at hiding in the daytime but he happens to be right there today he is one busy guy last night he had dug this right here out just like kind of mowed his way around so I think he's finding stuff under the sand as well but if you compare this video to the last couple of videos, look at my rock. Yeah, sure, there's still a green hair algae, but, I mean, take a closer look at the rocks. These guys are going to town on this stuff. Yeah, that's actually cyano up there. I'm having a little cyano outbreak again. Not really sure why. It's not a major, but still, it's there. But anyways, I just want to show you. Look at the rocks, how they're mowing this stuff down even the height of the stuff it's just like so close to the surface so it's pretty amazing how these creatures actually do what they're supposed to be doing sorry for any bad reflections i'm just kind of like giving you guys the overall view on what's going on in here so pretty happy about that these guys are just rocking this tank and i've also got a lot of turbo snails infants so somebody had babies because I've got so many tiny little turbo snails in here which is just freaking awesome because turbo snails were costing me three dollars a pop and when I originally started this tank those three dollars a pop were adding up because I had certain hermit crabs killing them for no apparent reason and not even bothering to use their shells so that seems to have ceased because there's like one hermit crab in here and he obviously isn't interested so that's a good thing there's that crazy sea here that's just something amazing <laughs> very strange creature yeah, Mr. Cole. All right, um, if you notice, things are like swaying real slow, including that, what I believe is Calerpa. All right, everything is going really slow. The hammer is almost fully extended. And, 
all these guys are all big and poofy. Reason being is the flow rate on my tank, besides the fact that I do have a 9.5 mag pushing some crazy amount of water up through here, through the two return lines, I've removed my big power head. Hang on, I'm trying to see if I can change this coloring up a little bit. Maybe not because of all the brightness in here. But, um, yeah, as you can see, the power head is missing. And I also took off the uh, fitting on the front of that thing, which happens to be this piece right here. Let me see if I can zoom in on it for you. Let me get it under some white, so that's what I'm talking about, this piece right here. I took it off so that I've got a more direct shot towards the front of the tank. So you can see it's actually blowing down here. See, there's some cyano, not a drastic amount, but there is a little bit. The stuff on the glass, that's not cyano for the record, that's coral line. And the same with over here, that's all coral line in the front. Only on the sand, some of the cyano. But, yeah, reason being, I took out the big power head, the WP-40, is because I've got it soaking in a vinegar bath because it just got totally clogged up on one side with coralline algae. And that might have been slowing down its performance a little bit. But the other side was completely clear. One thing I noticed is the clear side was away from the lights, meaning the bottom and the back side of it. So... So all you got to definitely keep maintained. Here's a prime example of what I'm talking about. Look at this coral life, or a coralia rather. See how it's got all that caked on coral line? That'll be the next one to remove it and get that stuff cleaned off there just so it performs much better. So that'll just be some maintenance things. But other than that, like I said, I just wanted to show you the difference in how the rocks are actually looking. These guys are just mowing around stuff. And even like right here, normally there's like a patch going completely around these zoas. But it completely mowed it out. So it's just like a little patch. And the same thing up here with all the zoanthids. They just creep around stuff and are slowly chopping it down. So it's pretty funny how, how they're doing things. And eventually they're going to get this stuff down. To nothing so we'll have to figure out a different food supply for them that or I'm going to end up having to give one of them back or whatever the case may be anyways guys I don't want to make this video very long again thank you very much to all my new subscribers I really do appreciate it, it means a lot everybody make sure to check out their channels and with that have a great day enjoy the rest of your week and I'll talk to you soon bye bye everybody